we finally have some clarification from Elon Musk about the sale of Tesla stock that happened just now. Now, this is not directly from Elon Musk. He's not saying anything on Twitter, but New York Times is reporting that Musk warned employees that Twitter did not have the necessary cash to survive. He mentioned bankruptcy. Musk added that he had recently sold Tesla stock to save Twitter. That Twitter is overstaffed even after mass layoffs and that the remaining workers needed to be more hardcore and that the economic picture ahead is dire indeed. We have to take a look at how is Twitter going because we know if it's not going to go well Probably there will be more Tesla stock sales from Elon Musk. Elon Musk will sell Tesla stock to save Twitter. So far, at least, it would appear that most people, by a very thin margin, are seeing less bot scams and spam. However, I'm not going to show this to you, but I will tell you what it was. A verified Mario, and this actually happened gave an everyone a middle finger and by verified i mean from an account that says nintendo and then verified and when you have this picture i'm gonna not show you a full zoomed in picture and then there's a lot of silly things happening not just the one side but the other side as well it's all over twitter if you want some to see some silly things now is the time to go Oh, but you just wait. It gets a lot worse, at least if you look at Gary's numbers here, which I don't know if I agree with, but if you just go as more of an analyst and if you were to evaluate Twitter stock if it was still publicly traded, you could say <laughs> that it would only be worth $4 billion. How much did Elon Musk pay for Twitter? 44 billion dollars not 4 billion Ouch. so if you just take twitter exactly as it is right now that's probably how much it is worth but i believe elon musk can turn it around and fix it which would make it worth a lot more than what elon musk paid for it and then this poll shows that most Tesla stock investors, I would assume, because most people that follow Gary Black, I think they are Tesla stock investors, uh, believe that Elon Musk sold Tesla stock to pay for his bridge or margin loan. Then Gary delivers some good news to everyone. Think He thinks at least that Twitter does not need cash, just like he said uh, yesterday on that live stream the Farzad, I'm talking about this one. If you look at the thumbnail, it says Tesla therapy. It was a good live stream, by the way. But if you expect to feel calmer after the live stream, hmm, don't watch it. But it was a good live stream. And I did like a lot that Gary on that live stream remained very calm. It was very calming when Gary was speaking. Now, uh, we have this as well. This is an email sent to all Twitter employees. A few key takeaways. Uh, number one is that, of course, Elon is ending work from home for Twitter employees and is now requiring minimum 40 hours per week from office. And also, which is more significant right here, what Dave is saying, without significant subscription revenue, there is a good chance Twitter will not survive the upcoming economic downturn. If you'd like to read the whole thing, you may pause the video as I scroll down uh, through this email for you. I fully agree with Dave here 100%. We'll dive just a little bit deeper into this right now. So Gary is saying... I strongly disagree, Twitter. The product can be improved incrementally, but works fine. The problem is advertisers are walking away over concerns about product adjacency and turnover. Someone has to pay the $5 billion a year in bills. It won't matter, basically, if Elon is focused on the subscription revenue because it won't be enough users 
who will want to, there, there wouldn't be enough users who would pay for their subscriptions, Gary thinks. On this one, I have to say, I have to respectfully disagree with Gary, and I am definitely in agreement with Dave here. Dave thinks it's a product issue. The product needs to be more compelling. For example, until I started doing YouTube, I never went to Twitter. It's so toxic. I don't want to see any me, 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 me. It's like, if you want to ruin your day, Twitter. Oh my God, it's so perfect for that. I hate that, but I think it's going to get better now. And also, I really like YouTube, for example. Twitter, you don't get that. But if Twitter enables content monetization for content creators, you know that a lot of YouTubers will start switching to Twitter, especially if Twitter pays more money. That will happen. And then, of course, we now know. Um, I, for example, I'm not a big fan of PayPal. I used... PayPal a lot before as a merchant and also as a customer and it has some serious flaws if you are a merchant especially oh lord there are so many issues I think it would be so easy for Elon to make a much better PayPal which Twitter I believe is going to be a much better version of PayPal and the paperwork has started to make that happen another reason I think Twitter is not really that compelling or is not profitable or as profitable as it could be is when I used to run ads I was able to put a dollar into Facebook ads and then take out take ten dollars from that basically I was able to also do the same with YouTube and Instagram and I also hear a lot of my friends uh, or acquaintances they are also able to do the same thing with TikTok, not with Twitter. I have never heard of anyone telling me, man, Matt, you got to get on those Twitter ads. I just made, you know, 1.2 million last month doing this and that. Like, I, I have never heard that story. I have heard this story so many times with Facebook ads. I almost said Twitter ads, which I think that's going to happen later. But Instagram and TikTok now also. And YouTube ads are some of the best if you are an advertiser. They are very effective if you, if you use them correctly. And I think when it comes to implementing new products and features and the technical execution, I think Elon Musk is the perfect man for it. So here, it's not so much that Gary, Dave, and me disagree with each other. It's more that we see different ways, different things how the what the business actually is supposed to be me and dave we think the business is much more bigger than what it is right now gary is just looking at it this is what we have right now we can just make it better and then it will be fine and if you just want to make it a little bit better i would agree elon is probably not the best person for that but you want to totally revamp the whole thing rebuild it make it much more better 10 times better elon is your guy now, how long will that take? I have no idea. But if Elon is not successful with Twitter or if Twitter struggles, we you know there's going to be more Tesla stock sales. And if you wanted to do a buyback, oh, you just wait for the opposite effect of the buyback. I mean, Elon Musk selling is exactly what would happen if a buyback happened, but the opposite. Because everyone is talking, oh, $5 billion buyback. 10 billion dollar buyback well Elon Musk just sold 4 billion that's almost 5 billion and stock just tanked so once buybacks happen you will see the opposite speaking of inflation which is important for Tesla because that eats our margin shipping containers the price has been dropping a lot and we want to see that because that also helps to reduce inflation and if inflation is reduced then the Fed stops raising rates, and if the rates stop increasing, then there is going to be more demand for vehicles overall, and same goes for Tesla. So those um, waiting lines would get bigger and longer. Now, I personally believe that the real competition for Tesla will eventually come. Not yet, not this year. 
I don't think it's next year, but eventually, and by when, when I say eventually, whatever that means in the long term, three, four, five, six, seven, ten years, eventually it's going to happen. I believe it's not going to come from Germany, Japan, or South Korea, the typical places where uh, most cars are made, but I believe it will come from China. I will make another video about all of the possible competitors that we should pay attention to. They are nowhere near close to Tesla to this time, but if Elon is not focused, we have to pay a little bit more attention um, to those and keep our eye on those. In the meantime, these are 48 reasons why I only own Tesla stock in my stock portfolio. My name is Matt Postis, reporting to you from Vancouver City, Canada. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.